Good morning, friends, and welcome back to our story times. It is great to see you guys this morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Today is both an exciting yet also sad day. Today is actually my last day at the library and our last day um, doing story times together. But the exciting thing is we have an awesome new librarian that is coming to HSL. Her name is Miss Cece, here she is. <laughs> She's gonna read you guys a story after I do um, a little poem reading. Um, but I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all of your support and I have loved being your friend. Um, so without further ado, I am going to be reading a poem from this book right here. It is called a Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, and it is poetry by Mr. Rogers. Have you guys ever heard of Mr. Rogers? He has a very, very fun show called Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Have you guys ever seen it before? It's pretty awesome. This poem is called You Are Much More. You are not just your toes or your chin or your size. You're not just a bit or a spot or a part. You're not just your insides, but you're also your heart. You will see that there's more to honking than geeses. And there's more to a cow than a moo. When you add up all the pieces, there's more than we see to you. When we put you all together, you are a beautiful and marvelous, spirited and lovely, wonderful one of a kind. You are more than your anger. You are much more than your fist. A closet is more than a hanger and a fist has an arm and a wrist. You are much more than your sadness and you're much more than your frown. You are more than a yell or a tap or a pout, more than a bellow or a slap or a doubt. You are much more than a moment, a feeling or a part. You're much more than an outside. You're also an inside, a heart. You're much, much more than your anger. You are much, much more than your mind. And when you are put all together, you are a beautiful and marvelous and spirited and lovely wonderful, one of a kind. And that is what I want to leave you guys with. You guys are awesome and you have made my time here at HSL so, so wonderful. Um, so thank you so very much. And without further ado, I'd like to welcome Miss Cece to come read you guys a story and introduce herself. But thank you guys again. I really appreciate and love all of you so much. Bye friends. Hello there! For those of you, I'm Miss Cece. For those of you who remember me from a couple summers ago when I worked in the library, it's nice to see you again. But for those of you who I've never had the chance to meet, hello, and I can't wait to see you one, soon, one day soon in the library. Um, today, I have a very special book I'm sharing with you. It's called I'm Here by Peter H. Reynolds. I don't know if anyone's ever read another book by him, maybe The Dot. He is one of my favorite authors as well as illustrators. I love the pictures he creates and the different stories he likes to tell. So let's get started. I'm Here by Peter Reynolds. Can you hear it? Voices, splashes upon splashes of sound. I hear it all like one big noise, a big drum. Boom, 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 boom. They are there, and I am here. Yes, I'm here. I know I am. I am here. With the breeze, gentle wind. I like the soft wind patting my head. Tumbling leaf stops at my knee for a visit. Sailing paper glides from the air to me. White rectangle. How did you find me? 
This is not where the paper wants to be. No worries, friend. I'm here. I make a fold. I fold, 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 fold. Mm. Have you ever made a paper airplane before? I'm done. Ready? We're off. Higher, higher, higher. Clouds. And look. Stars. They sparkle loudly like voices on a playground. Splashes upon splashes of sound. Loudly I shout, I'm here. That looks like a lot of fun. We've got you. They've got me, my paper airplane and me. They run, and with a push, they send me back up, 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 up. Paper airplane on a breeze, gliding back to earth, gliding across the sandy lot. It stops and it notices, and it's noticed by someone. Someone else. Hmm, who do you think might find the paper airplane? Who picks up the airplane, she brings it to me. My airplane. Friends. I'm here, says the plane. I'm here, says the girl's smile. Me too. I'm here. And that is that. And I am here, now at the library. So I hope you liked this book and I can't wait to get to share more stories with you. All right, thanks everyone.